All right, happy Friday, everyone. Um, today, I wanted to show you a really cool trick, life hack. I don't know if it's a life hack, but it's, it's for the Kindle. Um, and I don't know about you, but I do a lot of reading on the Kindle. Um, I, I don't have much room in my home anymore to store with for books. So anything I, I purchase, any book is usually going on the Kindle. Now, I don't know about you, but when I read the Kindle, I'm usually highlighting things that resonate with me and things that stand out, things I want to remember. Um, and then once I highlight it, it feels good to make the highlight, but then I lose it. I don't ever come back to the highlight. And in a lot of the videos I've been watching and some of the articles I've been reading, they talk about the fact that when you highlight, that in and of itself is not all that helpful, but rather we need to find a way to remember it, to recall it, to look at it again, right? Um, and this tool that I'm about to show you actually takes all the highlights you make in your Kindle on any of the books and automatically imports them into your computer. Um, they can import it into the website that I'm gonna show you in a second, um, or you can actually import it into, well, both. You can import it into um, a note-taking software that you like. I, I personally use Notion, and so whenever I highlight on my Kindle, any highlight then gets straight uh, sent straight to my Notion account. Um, and when it's inside the Notion account, it's just like a database of all the books I've read, and when I click on the book, all the highlights are there. Super organized, super easy to use. Um, but let me show you what this is and exactly how it works, all right? Um, all right, so here we are. So the, the application, it's a software. Um, it's called Readwise. Now, you can get started totally for free. And just to preface, I am not sponsored by them. I recently came across them on my own. I thought they were really, really cool and just wanted to share it with you. Um, but yeah, you, you can sign up for free. You don't need to enter a credit card or information, so no need to commit. And I think after 30 days, I think it's about $8 a month, something like that. All right, but you sign up. It's pretty quick. And then once you sign up, it's actually going to have you um, create connections, right? So if I go to my import section here, um, you'll see that it allows you to connect to these different apps. And right now I have it connected to my Kindle, which you can see right there, okay? Um, but you can also connect it to Apple Books and Twitter. There's a whole bunch of things you can connect it to. And when it's connected, what it basically means is um, that whenever you're reading or uh, usually reading, you can also do, uh, I haven't used this myself, but you can actually apparently save clips of, um, of a podcast and it will automatically save it into this database as well. That's really, really cool. Um, but I've only been using Kindle for now, all right? So all you'll do is basically click Sync Now, right? It'll have you put your Kindle information in your account there. Um, and then it is connected. That It's really that simple, okay? You make the connection like that. Um, and then you just read your Kindle as you always would, right? And you make highlights. And so recently I've been reading a book about ADHD um, and I've been highlighting the things that stand out to me. And then you can see that right here in my Readwise account, um, I've only made, for the sake of this video, I made one highlight. Um, you can see that this highlight pops up right here, right? Now, you can keep it, you can discard it. Um, and then here, actually, I've made, you know what? Actually, I've made a couple other highlights as well. So this is uh, my note-taking software where the highlight gets automatically sent. This is Notion. And without, I didn't make any of this. It just, the, the Readwise did all this for me. You'll notice I have the book title and then going down all of the highlights. I've only made a few. They're all right here. So if I wanted to pull this up again, I can just read the things that I highlighted, right? And it's all really, really organized. Um, this has been a fantastic tool because now all I need to do is open up my Readwise account, right? Which is, you know, it's here or it's here. Um, Right, and so when you go into your Readwise account, you'll be able to see a database of all your books. And when you click on one of the books that it's in there, um, it'll give you all the highlights, just in order of the highlights that you've made. Um, and I find this to be just an incredible tool, really, really helpful, really useful. Um, something I had never heard about before and I wanted to share with you. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you find this resource helpful. Um, and yeah, I would love to know, how do you use your Kindle in your private practice or your business or in your life? Um, I find the Kindle uh, is, is, is something that's sometimes overlooked, but it's a really useful tool and it can be even more useful with plugins like this. Um, oh yeah, I also forgot, I didn't actually introduce myself. Um, and it's the end of the video. But anyway, my name is Matt. I'm a therapist in private practice. I also own a group practice and I like to make videos just like this to help other therapists start, run, and grow private practices. Uh, clearly, this video is not just for therapists. This is for anyone who uses a Kindle. Um, 
And if you are a therapist in private practice and you're watching this and you want to interact with me directly, I do have a consultation group that you can join. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. Uh, and when people join that, you're able to ask questions. I review them personally and I respond to each and every one with detailed responses. But other than that, have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.